People, it has been so long since I've made a video for you guys. I've missed you guys so much. Don't worry, Dorothy is still here in one piece, looking good as always. But we are gonna be the first YouTuber or first company or person or anything to be exact to build a forged carbon bike. All right, so in this video, this is basically part one of a long list of videos. We're gonna be doing everything from building the molds to uh, making the carbon fiber parts themselves. And we're gonna show you guys the whole process, everything from uh, why we built uh, you know, our body work and all of our parts and things out of forged carbon fiber, what the benefits are compared to regular twill or two by two weave carbon fiber. And basically, we're just gonna take you along for the ride of the craziest motorcycle bill on YouTube. Um, this bike is not a bolt-on bike. As you can see, we did a lot of stuff ourselves. We painted it ourselves, graphics ourselves, all that stuff. We, we did have a lot of help from, you know, a lot of sponsors out there. You know, thank you guys, the fans, and the viewers for everybody that tuned in for all of the bike build shenanigans that we've done up to this point. Now we are going over the top. Um, our goal is to build the absolute lightest RSV4 in the world. Now this isn't some you know MotoGP bike prototype. We're using basically all of our homologated parts um, that we've already got. And you know, with, without further ado, let me show you some of the material and the things that we're gonna be doing in this whole build series. That is it, boys. That is gonna be all our material. So basically, big shout out to uh, Kyle at Venom Carbon. You know, I'm gonna put a link in the description for all the parts we use, all the parts we're gonna use, everything always in depth, just like all the videos that you guys have seen in the past. If you have not seen what we do in the past, then please watch some of our older videos, hit the subscribe button because this build is gonna be crazy. And without further ado, let's show you what we got. So in these three tubes, we have the magic. As you can see, second quality, chopped seven pounds of it. And then over here, we have 16 yards of two by two twill. So you can see just how nice this is and everything is made in the USA. This is all brand new and this is what they call grade A two by two twill. So we have three different sizes of this, but this is what um, any kind of inner structure in the body work that we may need, the subframe, the fairing stay, uh, the frame covers, we're gonna build our own, so it will have full frame covers with no silver showing. Um, the air intakes will be done in this. And the subframe, hold on, let me. You can see this tail is a bit of a pain in the ass to take off, the Superbike tail, because it's all one piece. So we're gonna show you what we're gonna build to make that a little bit easier as well. So now that you can see that she's undressed, what we are actually gonna do is this subframe that you see right here, as well as the stock battery tray. Bring you guys in a little closer. The stock battery tray that I've already built out of carbon fiber. You can see it there. This whole battery tray and this subframe is gonna be built in one piece, all carbon fiber. We're gonna be building a full carbon fiber tank we're gonna be building full forged carbon fiber body work, the lower, the front fender, the upper, the fuel tank, the tail, the huggers, everything on this bike that we can basically build out of carbon fiber, we're gonna be doing. So, I'm excited. All right, so now time for a science lesson. As I said earlier in the video, this is the carbon fiber that you guys are basically used to. This is the two by two twill that you see. This is a matte version and this is glossed. So this is what most carbon fiber looks like. Um, it's what you guys are used to seeing, you know, on body work, uh, fenders, huggers, you know, all those kind of parts. Um, this is the sample piece that we built. So I don't know if you can really tell because I used a dark amber resin in this. And when we use our clear resin, it's gonna come out nice and black and silver, like with all the other carbon fiber pieces that we built. So I just wanna show you guys 
basically this is how it's gonna look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up on the screen a few samples of forged carbon fiber parts that are available on the market now. Um, the only two companies that are really doing anything with it, maybe you've heard of them, Lamborghini. And uh, if you're a golfer, Callaway. And some of their drivers and golf clubs, they actually make forged carbon fiber. So this is why we're gonna be doing this. The reason that we're going with forged carbon fiber for mostly everything for Dorothy is because when you have regular carbon fiber and you have that weave that goes like this, this pattern that goes like this, there, there's no structural help unless you lay up more of the fabric in another way to where the patterns were, it'll overlay like this. So the biggest benefit with the forged carbon fiber is all these little fiber strands that go all kinds of ways. You can see it when it reflects the light. All those little strands, it has a higher structural tensile strength because the fibers aren't pulling one way. They're actually going a million different ways. So the biggest benefit, holy shit, it's fucking hot here. Hold on, let me, oh, mama, tabernacle. Okay, so back to the science lesson. So the biggest reason that we're going with forged carbon fiber instead of twill carbon fiber is because there's a higher tensile strength, which means that there's more flex, but it is stronger. And also you use less material, I guess you would say. So basically when you make body work out of regular two by two twill, you have to layer up usually four to five layers of carbon fiber to get the tensile strength that it can take an impact and it's not gonna just be too flimsy on you, yada, yada, yada. Basically, this is one layer. So you see on the back side, because it's just basically chop strand laid in there, it is a little dirty, don't, don't mind me, I did this half ass. Um, but you can see that this is equivalent to one layer of two by two twill. And now, just to show you, that this, is equivalent to about three layers of carbon fiber. And now I'm not gonna break this because we're gonna get into the video of what these actually are, but you can see that I can flex this. And this is three, don't get me wrong, maybe four layers of carbon fiber, okay? You can flex this, but if it passed the point of breaking, it will actually crack and break off, kind of brittly, but it is stronger than steel. Now, what we're gonna achieve is the same concept but with the the higher tensile strength of forged carbon fiber we take this one layer here and you can actually see i can i can bend on this you can hear little cracks and stuff like that i can bend on it but no matter what you cannot i'm sque i'm a big guy i'm squeezing this and this will not break absolutely will not break it'll bend and reform exactly to its shape so one of the biggest benefits is this can take an impact better, but also it's roughly half the weight of regular carbon fiber because you use half the material. We can do two layers of this and get the same exact, if not more tensile strength than five layers of regular two by two twelve. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for being all over the place. I'm super excited. I've been gone for two and a half months. I hope you guys don't think, uh, you know, all you people that follow the channel religiously and love what we do here. Don't think that I just up and left or I'm quitting YouTube. It's nothing like that. I needed a bit of a break. I needed to focus on work a little more. So I've been in New York for two and a half months, not Hawaii, but now I'm back full effect. I was actually thinking about selling the bike just because the weight is an issue. And before you guys start, you know, commenting about my weight's the issue, I'm down 20 pounds, people. Look at this, look, look at this. No, we got plenty more to go. But I really love the RSV4 on track. It is plenty fast enough. It handles like it's on rails, but it is just, it's heavy. So on technical tracks, when we have to flick the bike around back and forth, you really see the flaws in the RSV4. It doesn't show its weight on long straights and long sweeping turns, but on the small technical, you know, switchback stuff back and forth, you do notice how much the bike weighs. And I run the bike mostly with a third or a half a tank of gas just to kind of cheat and get us a little bit more, but it still just doesn't make the difference. So with this, our goal that we've set out is 200 wheel horsepower and 400 pounds full of gas, 
full tank, not a half tank, nothing like that. And now to some of you guys that race, that watch the channel, or if you've built bikes before and watched the channel, you're like 400 pounds full of gas, that's not that hard to do. Throw a set of carbon fiber wheels on it, throw a set of carbon fiber bodywork on it, all this stuff that you can bolt on and you can get to 400 pounds. Well, that is true, but the Aprilia, even with the forged wheels, the Aprilia starts at about 450 pounds full of gas. So it's not like a BMW or a Panigale where it's so simple to shave that weight and get to that 400 pound mark because the bike's only like 420 or 430 full of gas. So with our bike, we need to shave a lot of weight. Just like your boy needs to shave a lot of weight, we gotta do the same thing for Dorothy. So that's why we're going forged carbon fiber for as much parts as we can do, excuse me, as many parts as we can do. And I wanna take you guys along for the ride. This is gonna be a great bike, um, it already is, but it is just gonna be a masterpiece, one of a kind, and really, really drop dead gorgeous Italian beauty. It's going to be a, a, a very nice uh, spicy meatball, if you will. But I can't wait to show you guys what this is gonna become, and I'm gonna take you along for every trip, every step, every process that we're doing through it. And I wanna show you guys how you could do this yourself or pay somebody like me and we'll build it for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, do me a favor, subscribe, stay up to date, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.